Hi, Mr. Richards here. Today's lesson is on the surface area of prisms. What we'll learn today is how to find the surface area of rectangular prisms, as well as how to find the surface area of triangular prisms. And so our first key concept is surface area of a rectangular prism. The surface area SA of a rectangular prism with base L, width L, and height H is the sum of the area of its faces. So 2 times the length times the height, plus 2 times the length times the width, plus 2 times the height times the width. The sum of the areas of all the surfaces or faces of a three-dimensional figure is the surface area. In the previous inquiry lab, you used a net to find the surface area of a rectangular prism. You can use a formula to find the surface area as well. When you find the surface area of a three-dimensional figure, the units are square units, not cubic units. You're just adding a bunch of areas up at the end of the day, and that's going to be still squared units, not cubic. And so for our example, Find the surface area of the rectangular prism shown at the right. Replace L with 9, W with 7, and H with 13. And substitute into the formula. Make sure you multiply these before you add, then add them at the end, and you get 542 square inches. And now we get to try this on our own. So find the surface area of each rectangular prism. Now if we solve A here, we can say surface area it's going to equal, start with the formula, 2 times length times height, plus 2 times length times width, plus 2 times height times width. And now label these. It's just easier if you say, okay, my 10 is my length, my 3 will be my width, and my 6 will be my height. On the rectangular prisms, it does not really matter which variables you assign to the numbers, just kind of pick your length, width, and height. So now as we go to substitute these values in, surface area is going to equal 2 times the length, which was 10, times the height, which is 6, plus 2 times our length, which is 10, times the width, which is 3, plus 2 times the height, which is 6, times 3, our width. Again, just assigning length, width, and height really makes it easier to make sure you're substituting in the correct number. As we continue to solve, 2 times 10 times 6 is 120, plus 2 times 10 times 3 is 60, plus 2 times 6 times 3 is 36. And when we add these numbers together, they add to 216 and for our units, 216 meters squared. Let's work on example B. As we look to find the surface area of this rectangular prism, our length, width, and height are all going to be the same. So it doesn't really matter what you call your length, width, and height when they're all the same. And now, surface area is going to equal 2 times length times height plus 2 times length times width plus 2 times height times width. And we're going to substitute in 11 for well, each of these. Now as we continue to solve, 2 times 11 times 11 is 242. And that's going to be the same for all three. And when we add these together, the result is 726, or 726 millimeters squared. Domingo built a toy box 60 inches long, 24 inches wide, and 36 inches high. He has one quart of paint that covers about 87 square feet of surface. Does he have enough to paint the toy box? Justify your answer. So our first step is going to be to find the surface area of the toy box. Replace L with 60, W with 24, and H with 36, and when you find that surface area, it's 8,928 inches squared. And then to find the number of square inches the paint will cover, 
one foot squared as it shows is equal to one foot times one foot. One foot is 12 inches each, so 12 times 12 is 144 inches squared. Then we take that 144 inches squared, multiply by the 87 square feet to get 12,528 square feet. Well, that's more paint than you need, so you'll have enough paint. The largest corrugated cardboard box ever constructed measured about 23 feet long, 9 feet high, and 8 feet wide. Would 950 square feet of paper be enough to cover the box and justify your answer? Let's go ahead and find the surface area. So surface area is going to equal 2 length height plus 2 length width plus 2 height width. Now, the 23 is going to be our length, so it's going to be 2 times 23. Our height was 9, plus 2 times again our length was 23, and this time our width is 8, plus 2 times our height is 9, times our width of 8. When we multiply these together, we end up with 414 plus 368 plus 144. These add up to be 926 feet squared. So, is 950 square feet of paper enough? Well, yes. And our explanation can be the surface area of the box is 926 feet squared and, but wait, there's more, 950 feet squared is greater than 926 feet squared. Now next we get into the surface area of triangular prisms. To find the surface area of a triangular prism, it is more efficient to find the area of each face and calculate the sum of all the faces rather than using a formula. So you find the area of the two bases and find the area of the three uh, other faces and add them up. And that's exactly what we do in our guided example. Marty is mailing his aunt the package shown. How much cardboard is used to create the shipping container? So we find the area of the two faces. And the area of each of these triangles is one half base times height, so one half times four times three, which is six. Two of the rectangles is 14 times 3.6 times, or which is 50.4, and the area of the third is 14 times four. Add them all up and you get 168. And now we get to try this on our own. Now let's start with the two triangles. If we start with the triangle, this is a two by three triangle. So area is going to equal one half base times height for that. So one half times three times two, which is the result of three centimeters squared. Now there are two of them, and we'll get back to that in a moment. Now, let's kind of look at our rectangles here. We have this red rectangle that I'm outlining here, and that one is going to be area equals length times width, and area is going to equal two and a half times four, and two and a half times four is 10. And then now, Let's look at one of the other rectangles, and we'll look at the one behind it. This one on the side back here. Well, that's also going to be two and a half times four. It's the same one, and so the area of that one's also going to equal 10. And now where it gets a little bit tricky is the bottom rectangle. 
But if you kind of notice here, that this side is 3, this side over here is 4. So when I do area equals length times width, area is going to equal 3 times 4, which is 12. So now as I go to add all these up, I have the two triangles, 3 plus 3. I have the one rectangle, which was 10. I have the other rectangle, which was also 10. And then I have the bottom rectangle, which was 12. And when I add these all together, 3 plus 3 is 6, 10 plus 10 is 20. So 26 plus 12 is 38 centimeters squared. And that is it for this lesson on surface area of prisms. We can use the formula for rectangular prisms, but we need to break apart our triangular prisms. Good luck.